If you're on a journey of leveling up your style, you might have acquired your first blazer or suit by now. But what separates a regular guy in a suit or blazer from a super stylish guy? Well, there are a few things you can do, but one of them is to wear a pocket square and to do it well. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to begin wearing a pocket square that don't require a tie. I'll show you what colors, fabrics, and folds to use in each situation, and some suggestions on where to buy your pocket squares. So we're gonna start off with a simple white linen pocket square, and this is the first pocket square that you should buy. Uh, just make sure that it is 100% linen because otherwise it won't fold and crease properly. So anybody that's had a linen shirt will know that the fabric creases very easily and that's quite helpful when we're creating crisp, clean folds with our pocket squares. So the first one that you wanna do is what's known as the presidential fold or the TV fold. This is just a fold that goes straight across and what I like about this one is that it's a very versatile option. In fact, it's rare that you're gonna wear this and it won't work. It looks especially good with just a white shirt underneath, but it also works with a blue shirt. So I'm gonna show you how to fold this and then put it in and show you how it looks. What we do is we fold the pocket square in half like this. As you can see, I've done this one recently, so it already has the creases. Then we fold it in half again, folding it in the middle section so we don't have any edges showing just like that. And then we need to just fold this in half so that it actually fits in our pocket, which we'll do something like around that amount should fit. There we go. So you wanna create a nice clean line at the top here, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just to make it fit, we just fold this bottom flap upwards and we are ready to go. So it's really up to you, you know, how much of it you wanna show. You wanna just show the right amount, you know, maybe like half an inch, one or two centimeters. Like this is not quite enough in my opinion, but I'm grab it a little bit more. There you go. The thing with pocket squares is you just have to, you have to play with them and fiddle with them a little bit to get the desired effect. It's not exactly a science, but more of an art. So I think this has just elevated the outfit just a tiny amount. It was fine without it, but it's definitely a great option to have at your disposal. So you will have seen tons and tons of guys wearing a fold like this. Even some jackets actually come with a pretend pocket square with a white fold. I think my first ever suit jacket was from like H&M when I was 17 and it had a pretend pocket square. Absolutely avoid anything like that. Um, not only does it mean that you can't change the pocket square, but it's also going to look so neat and artificial that it will be obvious that it's a fake one and it looks kind of cheap. So, you know, a linen pocket square is going to be a really affordable investment that you can throw in and out and wear with all your different jackets and blazers as you acquire them. So the second option is a pocket square with contrasting edges. And what I mean by that is it will just have a, a pop of color along the border. So this one is a nice blue. I really like this one. Um, it's just like along the edges there. So we can have a bit more fun with this one because we wanna show off the colorful edges. And in this case, this works pretty well because I have a mid blue tone of color on the pocket square and I'm wearing a, a darker blue blazer and I have a lighter blue shirt underneath. So it's gonna really bring things together here. So let me show you the first way that I like to fold this one. So this time we're gonna do a variation on the presidential fold that shows off these colorful edges. So what we'll do is again, we'll fold it, fold it in half, but this time we wanna fold it in a way so that we're showing the edges, not folding it into itself. So what we do is we take one edge and fold it over to the other one, stopping just short of the top here so you can see the layers. And then we just fold it in half this way to make it fit in your pocket. Fold the bottom flap up again so it fits. And there you have the completed fold. So this is a interesting look, I think. I really like the kind of texture and the layers that it brings out. And then also we have the blue bringing out the color of the shirt. You could also match this to your tie, for example, if you were wearing a red tie and you had a pocket square with a red border. But for the purposes of wearing a pocket square without a tie, I would look to have a similar color on the border of the pocket square as your shirt. Now I wanna show you a second fold that you could do 
with a pocket square just like this that looks even more elaborate and it actually looks a lot fancier and a lot harder to do than it really is. So this one is sure to grab people's attention. This one is known as the crown fold. I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So in this case, I'm gonna fold the pocket square in half, but this time into a triangle and it doesn't have to be perfect. Once we've got the triangle, I'm gonna take this edge over into the middle, but just slightly off center, exactly like that. Then I'm gonna do the same with this edge over here. There we go. Then I just fold these sides out the way into themselves. I fold this back flap up and that is what we're gonna put in our pocket. So as you can see, this one is pretty um, flamboyant looking and quite impressive. It looks like you've done some kind of origami, but as you saw, it's pretty simple to do. You don't have to worry about it being neat and perfect. In fact, if it were neat and perfect, it would look kind of false and like a pre-folded pocket square, which is very cheap and tacky and the complete opposite of the effect that you want to create as a sartorial young gentleman. Okay, and thirdly, we come to the puff fold. This is a very popular fold and it's very easy to do, but on this one, we can't use a linen pocket square because it won't give us the desired effect. Instead, we need one that's made of either silk or wool. And what you wanna look for in terms of the color and the pattern is you need to pick out something that is a very subtle match to the color of your shirt. If you were wearing a tie, you could match it to the tie. But in this case, we're looking for something that has a little bit of blue and preferably a shade that is just slightly different from the shade of the shirt. So in my first example here, at first glance, this one looks like it's orange, burnt orange. But on a closer inspection, you'll see that we actually have this blue. It's very similar, in fact, to the color of the shirt. So we get the opportunity to pick out that color from our shirt with our accessory. A second more obvious option might be this one here. So this one is, this one is pretty much all blue. And then as we get closer in, you'll see like there's a bit more like indigo and purple in there, but overall it has a blue look, but it's still not the same color as the shirt at all. What you don't want to do is wear, for example, a sky blue, plain silk pocket square with a sky blue shirt. That looks like what people do at their weddings when they don't understand menswear. So we are much beyond that and we wanna look sartorial and elegant. So we'll do that using subtlety instead. Now I have seen so many bullshit ways both online and in offices teaching people how to do this fold, but I will show you the correct way and it's very, very simple. Now finally, I'm gonna show you the puff fold. So this one's very easy to achieve. We simply pinch it from the middle and creating a, a small loop with our other hand, we just tease it through, creating some nice little folds as we go. Once we have a decent amount through, then I'm just gonna twist this top slightly and turn it upside down, and then we shove it into our pocket. There we go. So from a distance, this one definitely brings extra attention to the outfit because I have this quite vivid burnt orange color. But as you get closer, you notice that there are subtle elements to the pattern which match the shirt. So I like this option a lot and burnt orange is a very versatile color that you could wear with lots of different shirts and jackets. Just look for something that has a little bit of a matching color to your shirt underneath. When you start wearing slightly more flamboyant pocket squares like this that have interesting eye-catching designs, this is where you'll really start standing out and getting compliments. So where should you buy your pocket squares? Pretty much everywhere sells pocket squares these days, but I would definitely avoid the cheapest stores like Zara and H&M. The reason for that is because they don't use the correct materials to give you the folds you need. They don't use proper linen and silk. And also they get the sizes far too small. Now your linen ones and wool ones don't need to be quite as big as a silk pocket square, but generally you want to look for at least 12 by 12 inches on any pocket square. The cheapest place I would buy pocket squares is from the Thai bar. They're particularly good for their linen, plain pocket squares. They're 100% linen, they're big enough, the quality is adequate for a simple fold and it will still last you a long time. So, you know, they're between 10 and $12. I think it's a great place to start and they have lots of different options when it comes to these color border pocket squares. You can get all sorts of colors on the edges and even interesting stitching patterns too. If you do have a little bit more money to spend, then Suit Supply makes very 
elegant designs from high quality materials, as do Brooks Brothers and Fort Belvedere, which is the company of the pocket square I'm wearing right now. Now, when you get into those brands, you'll be looking at spending between 60 and $70 on a pocket square, which might seem outrageous to spend on a piece of material that's only this big. Although it might sound like a lot, there's no reason that you can't wear these pocket squares for the rest of your life. Accessories don't take up much room, they don't get very worn down, and they're a very simple and effective way to spice up your outfits. So I hope this video was useful and it's given you the confidence you need to start wearing a pocket square. Beware, there are lots of mistakes guys make when they first start wearing this accessory and I might do a video about that in the future, but in the meantime, if you follow the steps in this video, then you will be good to go and you won't make any mistakes and I'm sure you'll start attracting compliments and feeling great about yourself very soon. So I hope you get the chance to try it out for yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video.